So I had a very productive afternoon today down at the beach, filming the sunset looking out across towards Rottnest Island and specifically Bathurst Lighthouse. This is Rottnest Island and this is a line drawn to my exact location where I had my cameras set up. It's just down near Mossman Park on the beach and the distance from the lighthouse to the location was 20.15 kilometres. Now I chose this location for a very specific reason. If you have a look at the heading from here to Bathurst Lighthouse, it's 277.70 degrees. Now I chose this location because if we go to Sun Calc and we look at today's date, the precise direction of the sun setting is 2 77.72 degrees. Now that's at 1800 hours which is just at the point where the bottom of the sun touches the ocean. So I specifically chose that time and that direction just to see how accurately the sun calc and Google Earth would match up to the real sunset. So sun calc was telling us that this direction would put the sun directly behind Bathurst Lighthouse from this location. So let's take a look if it actually did occur that way. As you can see, the lighthouse is directly centered at the base of the sun just as the sun touches the water. So Google Earth and sun calc are absolutely accurate. So the other point is how much of the ground beneath the lighthouse is being hidden by the curvature of the earth at 20.15 kilometers and an elevation of 3.5 meters. Now this image is one of my previous videos that was taken from sufficient elevation to see the lighthouse and all the ground underneath it. You can see that the amount of ground underneath the lighthouse is basically about the same as the lighthouse itself. So what we need to look at is the earth curve calculator and put in the distance and the elevation. So we've got 20.15 kilometers, 3.5 meter observer height. The target height is 30 meters. That's the focal height of the lighthouse itself. Using these parameters with standard refraction, we should have a hidden part of 11.25 metres and a visible part of 18 metres. So more than half will be visible, less than half will be hidden. How does that match what we're actually seeing? Now remember, that's what it looks like when you can see all the ground. Now let's take a look at what we could actually see. Now this is with the B700. You can see the sun is coming down and just at this point you can see the horizon, you can see the lighthouse and how much ground can we see. We can see a small amount. So that's showing us that we can see more than half of the picture and less than half of the picture is actually hidden. Okay. However, it's quite different to this image. So there is a significant amount of ground hidden from this elevation and this viewing distance and the footage from the P900 actually matches that as well. So there it is there, the footage from the P900. You can see that there's only a small amount of ground visible, but there's the water level. Most of the ground underneath the lighthouse is hidden by the curvature. And the final point is right at the time when the sun disappeared, I had the audio announcement going, which is giving us a timestamp every 10 seconds. And you can see that the B700 was not zoomed into the maximum. However, the P900 was. Now, what I want you to note is the timestamp of when the sun disappears in both videos, because it's exactly the same time zooming in on the sun with a maximum zoom on the P900 made no difference to the time at which it disappeared. 
So I'm presently at a beach near Mossman Park in Western Australia, which is south of the Perth CBD and north of Fremantle. You can see the cranes at Fremantle Port down to the south. When we look west across the Indian Ocean, we're looking directly towards Rottnest Island and specifically Bathurst Lighthouse. According to SunCalc, this location will put the sun setting directly behind the lighthouse. I've got the P900 with a solar filter currently tracking the sun and I've got the B700, I'll use that without the solar filter, trained on Bathurst Lighthouse. Now we should see the sun setting behind the lighthouse. I'm also going to dial the timestamp number which is 1194 in Australia and that is going to announce the exact time every 10 seconds. So we can use that as a timestamp with both videos to see the precise time of the sunset. I'm going to have the cameras at different zoom levels and we're going to see if the sun disappears at exactly the same time in both cameras. Okay, the sun's just about to touch the top of the lighthouse according to the image in the B700. We'll see how that matches in the P900. There it goes. Looks like sun calc was spot on. There's the sun directly behind Bathurst Lighthouse. So even though the cameras had different zoom levels, the sun disappeared at exactly the same time. Now I'm going to remove the solar filter on the P900. Okay, the sun's just about to touch the top of the lighthouse, according to the image in the B700. We'll see how that matches in the P900. There it goes. Looks like sun calc was spot on. There's the sun directly behind Bathurst Lighthouse.
So even though the cameras had different zoom levels, the sun disappeared at exactly the same time. Now I'm going to remove the solar filter on the P900. And I'll just bring it across to Bathurst Lighthouse again. And we'll zoom in. You can see it's silhouetted nicely now with the sun having set behind. And from three and a half meters elevation, we can see the whole lighthouse and a small amount of the mound beneath it. We're about 21 kilometers away. So we'll have a look at how that looks in the earth curve calculator back at the hotel.